Is GitHub Copilot or ChatGPT better for software development? In this video, I'll put them to the test. I'm gonna create a workout tracker app with both GitHub Copilot and ChatGPT and see which one I like better. So I decided to create a project with Genesio. Genesio is a serverless platform for full stack development. They sponsored this video and I thought this project would be a good test for these AI tools. So let's just start with Genesio Create to create a new Genesio project. And I'll just fill in all the settings. We'll create a full stack project. And then I'll just switch over to the directory and add a new class for a workout handler. Okay, now we can just open this up in VS Code. So let's go into the server code and we are going to update this workout handler.ts. So this is going to export the class that we can use in our front end. So before we start using GitHub Copilot, I'm just gonna make sure we have the correct imports. So these will all help with our data that we're going to get. And then I'm going to create a model. So I'm gonna do new folder. Okay, workout is gonna have an ID, a name, a description, and then a duration. And then I'll import our model. Now we're gonna to try to use Copilot for as much as we can for the rest of this project. Now let's create a type for our response. And instead of workout model in here, yep, this is what we want. So the response we're gonna get from the database is going to have all this information. And now we can start creating our workout handler. Let's see what it's giving us. They don't like that, so let's give it a little more instructions. Okay, and first I will tell we're in a constructor. Okay, and this looks pretty good actually. Creating the serialize, and then we're initializing the workout model with all of our data types from the workout model. Okay, I think we may need the model name also. Workout model, and then sqlize.sync. Yep, that's what we want here. That will sync our defined models to the database. Okay, next thing we wanna do, create a new workout. Yep, looks good. Now, yep, we wanna get all workouts. Looks good. Now we want to, yep, get, we'll do get at workout by ID. Looks good. Update a workout by ID. Looks good, I think. I'm just trying to get through this quick here. And delete a workout by ID. Looks good, I think. I think this could all be all we need. Now, it's not handling some other things like if there's problems, we could be using try catch blocks, but Let's just use this for now and see how it works and see if we have any problems. We'll save this and let's just work on our front end. So let's go to our app.tsx and we're gonna take out some of this default stuff. We're not gonna import backend server, so we're gonna import the workout handler and the workout response. And then we can basically delete everything that's already in here for the front end. And well, it's already basically doing what we want to do. So let's see, it's fetching the workouts, creating the workouts, and it's creating a form. This is having an error here. Let's just see if I can do a fix here. Uh, let's see, is it gonna do it? And that at least doesn't show an error anymore. Now I think I'm going to actually have to deploy this before this will uh, show up here. Is there any button for deleting? We do want a delete workout button. So let's see what functions we have here. Fetch workouts, create workout. Now I want delete workout by ID. So let's go back over here. Delete workout. Okay. And it just says it's assigned a value but never used. Well, we'll use it down here. Button on click delete workout and delete. Okay, we'll save this. We need to get our environment variable in here for our database to set to connect to our Postgres database. 
So what I'm going to do is do Genesio deploy to get this onto Genesio, and then that will allow us to get our to, to connect to Postgres really easily. Let me show you. So we'll just do Genesio deploy. Okay, what I'm going to do is just copy this here. And let's ask GitHub Copilot. Okay, I just have to add a new line to the constructor. So I'm going to do this a little different. What I'm going to do is just copy this and right after the constructor here, I'm going to just throw this right into here. There we go. And then I'm going to just say or an empty string. So hopefully that fix these errors here. Let's just try installing this and see what happens. <laughs> okay, the, it said the backend code was deployed when the SDK was successfully generated. So now we have this line is working. Oh, wait, some other things not working now. Let's kind of just check this. And it says, did you mean to access Workout Handler with a capital W here instead? Yeah. So I think we actually don't even need this line right here. And then all the Workout Handlers should just be capital W just like that. And now I wonder if I just go back to this. Okay. We just had to go back to before we fixed it before. And now I just have to get the Postgres database working. So with Genesio, it's going to create some links for me, including this app dashboard URL. So I'm going to copy this. And at my I'm at my app dashboard URL, and we can see the workout handler or the backend service. The backend service was created automatically. We're not even using that. But what I'm going to go do is go to integrations and then install Postgres, it should look more like that. And so it's already connected to Neon. And then I'm going to just select all these things. Basically, I'm gonna just select the default option for all of these. And now we save the secret. Now we have the connection string right here. So we already did this NPM install here. I already did that line. Now I just have to export the this environment variable. Okay, I can finally test the app. I can either test it locally or I can deploy it and test it on the web. I'm going to test it locally right now. So, Genesio local. Okay, we have some problems. I had to go through and do an npm install pg on the server directory. And then we could do Genesio local. Okay, let's try this out now. I'm going to go to the URL for the front end. Okay, here's the workout track. Let's see if it works. Uh, run, around block, uh, 15 minutes, create workout. Nope, not working. Okay, the Neom Postgres URL is not defined. Oh, that have, should have an L there. Is that, was that the problem? Okay, I think that was the problem was missing an L. So, Genesio local. Okay, it says connection is insecure. So, we should be able to fix that here. Okay. Dialect options. And SSL, require true. So let's try that again. Oh, I guess I didn't have to restart the server. It will it automatically would restart. Okay, great. Okay, and let's try it. Run around block, 15 minutes, create workout. And it works. Run around block, 15 minutes. 
Now we want to add a walk to store 30 minutes. Okay, we can create workouts. I wonder, the stats workouts, I think that if we start, I just refresh the page, and if I put fresh, refresh, fetch workouts, it will put the workouts here. And let's see, I can, let's see if I can delete a workout. Nope, that delete did not work, let's see. Delete workout is not a function. Okay, let's just check into that. Delete workout by ID. I think that's what we have. Okay, we're got handler, delete workout by ID. Okay, now let's see if we can delete a workout. I'll fetch the workout and delete. Okay, we can delete. So we do have that function. Okay, we made a workout tracker. I mean, we could do more to make this display a little better and maybe add some editing, but that wasn't too bad creating this workout tracker with GitHub Copilot. Let's see what it would be like to create it with only using ChatGPT. Okay, I've backed up to when we had just created the workout handler and we have all the imports, but this class hasn't been developed and we don't have anything on the front end. It's just this demo front end. So we still have to create the back end. We still have to create the front end. Let's see how ChatGPT can do it. I'm gonna go over to ChatGPT and say, I'm using Genesio to create a workout logging application. Here is my server code so far. And then we'll just get this server code. And then I'm also gonna give it the model. And here is my model code. Complete the server code to add CRUD functionality for the workouts. Connect to a Postgres database using the URL from this environment variable. Okay, I'm just going to copy the code. It's written a little different, but I'm not even gonna read over it too much. We're just gonna see if it works. So I will put in the new server code and there's no errors right away. And now I'm gonna copy the current front end, but I'm gonna give, actually give, give it this. And I know we're not gonna need any of this. So I'm just gonna ask it to write the front end and I'll show how to import this stuff. Now give me the React front end code. Genesio makes a possible that it calls to the back end through the SDK. Here's the front end code so far. <laughs> okay, let's get this code. I already see something that could be wrong, but I didn't look over it too much. Um, we're going to, before, remember we actually took out this line, the other one tried to give us this line too. And we're going to just make this into workout handler. Now we'll just save this. And I don't think we need to actually add the Postgres URL because it should be able to just use the URL from before. We can just use the same database. Okay, I'm just gonna have to make sure I have um, Postgres installed. So CD server, npm install, Postgres. And let me just actually run this whole line types and Genesio types, just to make sure I have everything installed I need. And I will npm install SQLize. Okay, we had this error before. Uh, this time I'm going to give it to ChatGPT. It actually makes things easier since we already went through this all with GitHub Copilot. Let's see if it can know what to fix. Even though we do kind of know what to fix because we already did it before. Let's see if ChatGPT does. And I think so. So I'm going to just copy this. That's the new part. And put that in there. Okay, it's rerunning, and I think that's gonna work now. Okay, this is actually it. It's using the same database from before, so we still we have some stuff already in there. So I kind of like that you don't have to click a button to show the data in the database, and we have an edit and a delete button this time. 
Uh, first, let's try actually adding a new workout. Walk around block for 10 minutes and create workout. Let's see if it shows up and no. What's going on? We do have a problem here. Hmm. Well, let's see if we have an error over here. I'm just going to copy this whole error and then let's see if ChatGPT knows the solution. So the create at column in the workouts table is set to not null and needs a value in answering a new row. To resolve this, we should include the, the created at and updated at fields in the model definition to ensure SQLize manages them automatically. Now, this problem is actually probably based on the fact that we already uh, have, we're using that same database as before, but let's see what we're going to change. So now we're, I think this is the section that's changed. So I'll just copy this whole code, put it right in here. Okay, now we saved it and it's reloading here. Okay, let's see if this works now. And create workout. Okay, we added one. Now let's see if we can actually edit it. So, oh, when I click edit, it's going to go up here and it's, I can update work, workout or cancel. So actually, I didn't go to the store. I went to school and it wasn't 30 minutes. It was 45 minutes. Update workout. And that worked. Now let's see if I can delete. Okay, that's pretty nice. And frankly, what I got from ChatGPT was a lot better than GitHub Copilot. And it was simpler. I really had to do less. I mean, so we have some extra features here. Um, GitHub Copilot, I think it made it easier to customize things because uh, I, I didn't have to give it the whole code. I could just tell the exact code I wanted to change. But really, at least for this use case, ChatGPT worked a lot better. Now, part of it is probably because of the, the 4.0 model and to my knowledge, I think GitHub Copilot is still on 3.5, or it, it's, a, it's not as advanced of a model. So that probably also helped ChatGPT to give me code that was more in line with what I wanted.